Now we begin with a shocking apology just a short time ago from the ladies of The View to Turning Point USA. A war of words broke out after the conservative group was rallying the next generation of voters at its youth summit in Tampa, Florida this weekend. And the liberal panel just couldn't help themselves. The group sent a scathing de cease and desist letter after hosts on The View suggested that Turning Point had embraced neo-Nazis who showed up outside the event. Watch. This Turning Point <laughs> conference, neo-Nazis were in the front of turning out there in front of the conference uh, with anti-Semitic um, slurs and, um, you know, the Nazi swastika. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's important that every single person that attended that Turning Point, every Republican speak up yeah. against the swastikas, against yeah, the disgusting. Nazi uh, flags that were waved. But you let them in. President, open your you let them in and you knew what they were. Right. So you are complicit. I want to make a quick clarification about the neo-Nazis at the Turning point event. They were outside protesters. My point was more metaphorical. That you, you embrace them at your thing, I felt. Mm. We'll fast forward to this morning. The host apologized before quickly cutting to commercial. Watch. Well, on Monday, we talked about the fact that there were openly neo-Nazi demonstrators outside the Florida Student Action Summit of the Turning Point USA group. We want to make clear that these demonstra demonstrators were gathered outside the event and that they were not invited or endorsed by Turning Point USA. A Turning Point USA spokesman said the group, quote, 100 percent condemns those ideologies and said Turning Point USA security tried to remove the neo-Nazis from the area but could not because they were on public property. Also, Turning Point USA wanted to clarify, uh, wanted us to clarify that this was a Turning Point USA summit and not a Republican Party event. So we apologize for anything we said that may have been unclear on these points. Way to botch the delivery first and <laughs> foremost. Uh, Sean, something that struck me in the cease and desist letter. Uh, was the sentence that specifically the view hosts insidiously and cavalierly stated that TPUSA let the neo-Nazis into its event, metaphorically embraced them, and it went on. Insidiously yeah. and cavalierly. And I felt that perfectly summed up exactly what those women were saying, which is something so deeply toxic and also so lightly thrown out there. And so false. I mean, these were protesters outside of the event, right? They couldn't get in. These were not neo-Nazis inside of Turning Point USA. They were protesting outside on public grounds, and uh, Turning Point tried to remove them. But listen, I th these people have been roundly criticized and, 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 uh, and shamed by the right. But you look at the little Marxists and communists that you know, rally in the streets and protest and burn things. We condemn them, but the left never condemns them. And if you, I mean, you had Joy Behar talking about um, this anti-Semitism. You guys have heard of the, the boycott, sanction, and divest movement, the BDS movement, which is uh, a Democrat movement to sanction Israel, an anti-Jewish movement. And just we're coming up on the five-year anniversary of the shooting on the baseball field um, was Steve Scalise. Mm -hmm. That was a Bernie Sanders supporter. None of us said this is Bernie Sanders' fault when you mm -hmm. had that shooter. We realized that there are crazy people who do crazy things. We don't sell you a whole party over it. But that's exactly what they try to do to us. That's such a great point, Kennedy. And mm -hmm. also the fact that these, these neo-Nazi demonstrators were on this public property, specifically Turning Point tried to remove them. Mm -hmm. So the fact that that association was made in such, in, in such a chasm of geography, let alone ideology, um, and it really is a falsehood, one upon the other layer that these women put forth, the, the official ties to the GOP. It's like there's no end to the falsehoods that they put out there. Or maybe there is, because when people like Nick Salmon and Kyle Rittenhouse start suing, uh, you know, these major news organizations for destroying their reputations, maybe some of the people who put forth these narratives will think about it before it escapes their mouths. And, you know, it's like, we all know that. We all know there are lines that you can't cross when you are talking about a story, when you're analyzing a story, when you're angry about something. You, you still have to stay within the bounds of what happened factually. And I think what happened there was they didn't watch the tape. They didn't even do any investigation. They were just blathering about what happened. And I don't think, you know, if this did go to trial, saying to a judge, well, it was just it was more of a metaphor. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if that reaches the legal threshold of excusing uh, what you said that might do reputational damage. Right. And to Kennedy's point, Kat, one of my favorite tweets in response to this was Scott Summers. He said, they only understand being sued. They don't yeah. understand logic or facts or the truth or whatnot. And let's put up for a moment something that um, Whoopi Goldberg said in the past that got her... Um, 
she was taken off air for a bit and she had to apologize. This isn't her first rodeo. Watch. Let's be truthful about it because the Holocaust isn't about race. No. No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe it, yeah. well, no, it's Jews about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. Part two, Kat. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I guess I should say, first of all, I actually spoke at Turning Point on Saturday. So I know for a fact that these were protesters who were outside. And I even heard some of the kids there talking like, oh, they must be protesting us because we're not Nazis. And they did try to remove them. And for them to go on and say these things, many things upset me about it. Obviously, mm -hmm. Whoopi Goldberg saying they were allowed in and then using the word metaphor, which opposite doesn't mean metaphor. And then Anna Navarro saying every Republican in there needs to condemn this. There's so many things. Well, I mean, I was there. I was speaking. I'm not a Republican. I'm a libertarian. But just to have that attitude of, I know they won't. It's so challenging and difficult for these people to condemn. Not no, it's not. Yeah, I condemn Nazis. I'm insulted and also concerned a little bit about you have that view of the world where you really think there's all these people who think that neo Nazis are great and would really struggle to condemn neo Nazis. Uh, it, it's really disgusting, and I, I feel bad for anybody who lives their life that way all at the same time. And isn't this, Jackie, just another liberal media example, right? The lie travels around the world a million yeah. times before the truth does. I'm sure that original um, segment of theirs will be amplified a million times more than the correction and the apology will. I'm sure it will be, and it's sad that you have to send the cease and desist letter, right? Pointing out exactly what they've done here to get them to apologize. But as you guys have described, the facts were all wrong. They were describing an event and they got it all wrong. And so mm -hmm. the apology to me, the irony is that, you know, once their lawyer said, you have to read this now and correct what you've done here, then they go and do it. But why do we have to go round and round in these circles trying to sue people, go after people as a result of it? Just report accurately. That's all anybody is asking you to do when it comes to situations like this but I'm glad Turning Point USA sent that letter and said you know what you fix this and from a business standpoint remember that ABC is owned by Disney Disney has already gone out on a limb you know even with respect to its own business and taking a hit for it um, as well as saying you know we condone wokeness and we're going in this direction and this is what we're gonna do and so I'm not surprised that um, that particular show would handle this in, in that way but I'm glad they got the book thrown at them joy and Whoopi are both collectively such a liability mm -hmm. and you know they must have to run just incredible interference legally they must have a team of lawyers <laughs> on set drafting <laughs> things for them to read during every commercial because yeah. what they say is, is so asinine and so out of touch uh, it's a miracle they're both gainfully employed and yet the excuses are I was being metaphorical right I mean I don't <laughs> think an attorney that wrote that <laughs> exactly what the word means exactly unless this, they're pretty is poor really, attorney. is this really the view I mean you have these liberal ladies who are out there you know bashing conservatives or bashing Republicans trying to tie them to neo-nazis if you have issues with our policies, yeah, we want to lower taxes. We like less regulation. We want a secure border. We don't, we don't like crime in America. It's, it's, it's bad for our families. Attack us on that. Have that debate, but you want to tie us because you can't debate that. Tie conservatives to neo-Nazis. It's shameful. And the larger liberal media keeps doing it. Do. And the thing is, is I, I think it will backfire already has because all that does is raise the indignance, to your point earlier, that raises the offense of it yep. um, because everyone knows it's the furthest thing from the truth, apparently, except for the five people around that table. Um. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.